This is one of the sad things of being a small streamer. You have no one beside you to tell you that your mic is off. So... Everything, this entire hour of streaming, my, I just realized my microphone wasn't even turned on. <sighs> so those of you who are here just watching, just paying attention, not even caring my mic was, was on or not, what was happening was, as he, I was... So what I'm probably going to go ahead and do is actually I'm probably going to go ahead and when I do my video I'm going to start right here and not back at the beginning. Yay. <sighs> I, I'm going to be honest. That's dishearted. That's dishearted. Uh, Share your troubles. That's actually very disheartening for me. I think I'm doing well, talking a bunch, and all of a sudden I realize, oh, my microphone's not on. Wow. Talk about a disappointment. Well... Okay, well, let's go ahead and just buff up, get through this fight, and be done. You can count on me. Anything All right, Lindsay, possible. get your job done. Oh, and don't forget this. What else? It's time to act. Oh, yeah, you. Uh, mutagen. And divine, divine favor. Uh, now nah, we'll do. We'll just do this. Sweet. Yeah, well, that's good. I'm Ronda. Gratio. Here. Ba er riti. Okay, let's do this. What for Gorum? Oh, well. Oh god, I might want to do this. Oh, 
Uh, air, earth, fire. We'll summon him right here. I still got it. Oh, look at that little thing. <laughs> that is adorable. And then go with the uh, skeletons. <laughs> well, so much for web make helping with fell fells. Huh. Rude. Okay, here we go. Done. Got it. First try, too. I'm there. First try. Okay. I do what I must. I'm off. That's really it. That's there's not no other loot to have. Nope, because they were all just a bunch of spiders. Fun. save here we actually do have like a good amount of exploration done in this area like a really good amount all right boom let's see what some of our visors have to say Your Grace, I... Keston has a troubled look on his face. I fear there's another matter that requires your attention. There have been reports, many of them, from settlements across the narrow marches. There are trolls in the forest, seemingly hordes of them. The rumors claim they're more than the typical savage beasts. They, they almost seem to show reason and tactics. They form groups, attack all at once, plunder the villages, and carry away the peasants. Even strangers. Kobolds have been... Even stranger... Kobolds have been spotted among their ranks, when usually they would be attacked on sight. Keston falls silent for a moment. I'm not certain any of this is reliable. Fear uh, builds mountains of molehills. That's weird. That's a weird analogy. Uh, some of the rumors even say these trolls carried torches and burned down houses, seemingly of unafraid of open flames. It's entirely possible the rest of the reports could be exaggerated as well. The common, the common folk will hardly heed any simple exhor exhortation. Someone will need to go to the Nara marches to investigate the matter. I was, I was considering the matter when it hit me. What if you were to take on this investigation yourself, Grace? A baron's duty is to his people. I'll head out. I'll head south and look into this situation. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Keston sighs with a wraith. Believe, when you when you decide to go, please remember that trolls can only be killed with fire or acid. Christian lowers his head. And greetings, Baron. I am sorry to take you away from your other affairs, but you your people need you. When the Stonelands were freed from the Stag Lord, the people sighed in relief, but many are still confused by their swift change of fortune. Truth be told, they simply don't know what to think of their new Baron, nor what to expect of you. 
Will you be a fair ruler for all or only for those of wealth and status? Let us choose and uh, let us let us reassure your people. Show them your uh, you show them where your favor truly uh, rests. Perhaps a small celebration would help to win them over. Of course, you could spend the same amount of on, uh, same amount on luxurious dinner for the wealthiest of your uh, barony. But I recommend organizing a fair for the common people, the ones on whose shoulders your power truly resides. We shall hold a fair for the common people. I want them to know that I hold them closest to my heart. Voice effects, plus two community, plus two culture. This is plus two economy, plus two re uh, relations. And this is plus 20 BP. Boom. For the common people. Mm, Tristian smiles warmly. We, we will hold a common celebration where everyone will be welcome, including the poor and downtrodden. This is the greatest gift a ruler can give to his people. Nice. Trolls who didn't fear fire? That sounded terrible, and dangerous, and terribly dangerous. If we couldn't rein them in, our young barony would be eaten up in a snap. Trolls that don't fear fire sounds fun. That rank up. Yep, we already read about that. Success. Tenebrous. Tenebrous dreams. Okay, this is a DLC uh, event. A, re a reoccurring dream has recently been troubling the Baron's slumbers. He's see he sees valiant heroes entering ancient ruins to descend under the ground, never to return. Their faces show stern resolve. Their lips pinched thin. The angry red snow follows the heroes into the darkness, casting its fleeting, e mm, fleeting evening's rays upon them. Just before waking, the Baron hears a faint whisper, Come to me, hero, I wait here in the tenebrous depths. Woo! Quote the counselor's endeavors. Uh, we could do that. But I got some exploring to do. Uh, troll trouble. Find out more about the trolls. To deal with the trolls, we must learn, learn more about them. Find the troll lair. Those, mm, those who hold, mm, this whole mess of trolls can't just roam around all the time. They surely must have a hidden base or a lair at least. A stinky, filthy troll lair. Okay. Uh, one second, chat. One second. Uh, meet the nymph in her verdant chambers. Okay. Well, I suppose we should get going, but first off, first of all, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, I think you're okay with the spells you've got. This was a. Uh, was interesting. Very interesting. You, fine. That's perfectly fine. That look. I like the one. I do like the one pit. I think we're gonna stick with the one pit. But I gotta rest. Beneath the stolen lands, again and again, our hero has the same dream. Go to the timber, uh, to Nebris depths to the north. Our march.
Okay. He's done in three days. So... You know what? Here you go, Tristian. Oh. Oh, nope. Redo, redo, redoing that. <laughs> Triumph! Success. Awesome. Visitor awaits at the castle. Uh, what's the castle? Troll sightings? You are in the midst of the event of the month. Wait, you're not... man before you reeks of vanity, his black hair is curled, styled, and generously waxed. From the hair on top his head to the points of his mustache, his cheeks and forehead are powdered white. And giving him a pallid look, his hand rests casually on the gold hilt of his rapier. As he approaches, I'm, I'm approaches, a mean, sly smile appears on his face, clearly practiced and prepared in advance. Ah, the ruler of this barony, I am flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Mascani of Pitax, at your service. The man performs a derisive bow. What brings a Pitaxian noble to my barony? I was just traveling back home to, a glor to glorious Pitax after, a pa after paying a visit to Restov, all in service to King C uh, Castruccio Iravetti. I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Pitax's bold new neighbor. Sir Stefano sniffs, then grins. I must say, I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. I'm always open to criticism so long as it's fair and reasonable. Well then, I'd gladly give you my report. Sir Stefano voices takes on a con condescending tone. Following along your fingers, assuming you can count. One, your army is weak. You lack the guards to properly defend your lands. So you must choose between the villages, the towns, and the trade routes. Two, your economy is a, sh is a shambles. You have to res mm, personally resolve an issue of tax collecting from... Uh, some lowly inn and it seems your treasury even depends upon this handful of coins and three your culture is well non-existent really what do you even have no art galleries no universities your capital may as well be a cow, uh, cow shed with you a donkey sitting atop a I really do not like Ste I do not like Stefano, period. This, so th with this, we're gonna go ahead and go against my entire alignment. Sir Stefano, please be frank with me. Have you ever been the pleasure of being acquainted with the hooves of a jackass or that other than your own feet, I mean? There's Stefano opens his mouth and immediately closes it. Now, allow me to personally take attacks your court. Uh, court how do you pronounce that? Courage. So as to help my impro. So 
And so as to help improve my economy, and as taxes are especially high this year, I do hope you'll be able to pay. The punishment for failure to pay is imprisonment. Sir Stefano Furious starts to speak. My king will not stand for... Ah, yes. King Irivetti. Worry not. I'll be sure I send him an eloquently mass... Um, uh, missive. Relying, relaying news of your tragic fate. What? Sir Stefano pauses mid rant My hey, tragic fate? Yes, the tragic fate you met after attempting to escape your chains. Now, if there's nothing more, I suggest you go re replaster your face with whatever makeup you've been using. Your cheeks are so bright, the red glowing must be visible from Absalom. <laughs> I'll... I'll take my leave now. <laughs> Doesn't matter what alignment I am, I'm always gonna do that one. Your Grace, you are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who led them. As a sign of gratitude, your subjects have a special reward for you. Oh. I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by the curse? I mean, the curse must be ancient and very ominous. The spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. How can we explain the dis dismal atmosphere of the bald, uh, bald hilltop? The pressure both of us felt there, Jihad. Maybe the curse of mm, drove the poor dryad insane, causing her to lead this spider invasion into the barony. Tristian shakes his head incredulously. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion was over, I visited the bald hilltop again. It's grown quiet once more, and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken, just laying low, like a monster that rests before it feeds again. How much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say half a year or even more. Now that the bald hilltop is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will. I'm sure we will have enough time to prepare for the next attack. I want to deal with this problem once and for all. What do you recommend? Yes, yeah, so let's have the bald hilltop to the, uh, let the level of the bald hilltop to the ground and put an end to the curse. I doubt we'll be able to defeat it in such a uh, such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the bald hilltop, uh, but, the, mm, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the bald hilltop, but expect exactly the opposite. We'd only provoke it into attacking again, immediately on the heels of the last. No, the best we can do for now is to make sure we're prepared for the next attack. Don't be such a pessimist, Tristian. We might truly be able to overcome the curse, but only by studying it thoroughly. Your Grace, I will gather all the information available on this situation and get to work. Well, let's prepare for the next attack. Tristian nods. Very wise. If only the new, uh, if only we knew more about this curse, we might figure out some way to fight it. I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before. And nothing ever happened on the bald hilltop before either. Now both spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appeared in the Stolen Lands, all this seems highly coincidental. Mm hmm. Success! Problems to solve, opportunities to, mm, opportunities to seize occur from time to time in your domain these mm, these events may increase or decrease your barony stats don't forget to look them up all current events are listed at the bottom of the screen an event may be addressed by the relevant advisor to assign a task to an advisor click the frame on the right side of the event card the character in charge will act based on their own ideology and nature. It takes time to deal with an event, so the advisor will be unavailable for any other official mission. Every event has a difficulty level to, re to resolve the event successfully. The advisor must roll a number higher than the difficulty level of the event. The advisor's post... Ah! Whew. Uh, 
The advisor's post ability is added to the dice roll. The barony stat stat the advisor is responsible for adds another two points per rank to every roll. Example, Valerie as a region population stat grants a plus two bonus for her high charisma. Population stat rank is one, so it gives another plus two. If Valerie is put in charge of an event, her dice roll would have an overall bonus of plus four points. Research into the bald hilltop. Her. No, oh, really? Yeah, that's going to take forty five days. Go ahead and research the bald hilltop. And start project. Whew. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, set. Wait, what are you? Wyvern Skin Cloak. Twenty-seven. All right. Well, I suppose there's that. Let's go to the main square real quick. Maybe there's some new items. Maybe. See what you have. Uh, no, you still only go to plus two. No plus four. Damn, ring of plentiful hunts. Ranger, you know, this ring grants its wear plus one bonus on damage rolls with bows and plus two luck bonus on lore nature checks. Pretty good. Lesser gloves of dueling. Perhaps Springer's gloves. As the eagle. Keen Elven Curve Blade plus one. <laughs> eh, well, nobody's using it, so boom. We a lucky longbow. Composite longbow. Okay. Uh, weapon is... Uh, the luck of the draw. A critical multiplier of this weapon is X4 instead of X3. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Boom. Maybe I do want to keep that actually. Boom. We'll go ahead and sell that. Nobody's using this. And deal. I like to see you're good, sir. And how much is this? 18650. Oh, we need a we need a grand more. Can we do that? Yeah, by selling the uh, Alright, screw it, do it. Doing it. Give me that. We'll sell that. Nope, give me that back. And deal. Bonus plus three. Okay, she is getting a plus three, which is nice. All right. What else do we need? Oh, I'm nothing really actually. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's carry on. I'm there. All right, beneath the stolen lands, we'll have to deal with that. Ancient curse part two. We got 191 days. A long time. We got troll trouble. Now I believe it's time 